Here's a bright young comedian who always gets big laughs whenever she appears. She's currently touring nationwide on the college circuit, and she's going to be appearing in an upcoming episode of Family Ties and a new feature film called uh, Mask. Would you greet Marsha Warfield? Yay! Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Let's try that again. Good evening. Good evening. All right, that's better. Don't mess with me, okay? So, I see a couple of black people here tonight. That's great. How y'all doing? All right, I like black people. I do. I got some cousins and stuff. They're black. It's great to be black nowadays. Just last year, we had two black Miss Americas. <laughs> yeah, this year, they picked Miss Utah. I knew she wasn't gonna be black, but I didn't think they'd go that far. <laughs> but did you see the spread on Vanessa? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse the pun. That was something else, wasn't it? The first two pages were like, the what's so bad about that page? Then you flip it one more time, you get to the oh my God page. All you can say is, Vanessa, there's no way you can lie about this. That's you. What do you say? Oops. <laughs> but people shouldn't get down on Vanessa. <laughs> For two reasons, and one, <laughs> one is that, you know, it takes a lot of guts to take pictures like that and uh, run for Miss America anyway. And two, you know, there have to be, what, 20 or 30 former Miss America sitting around the house shaking with fear? <laughs> saying things to themselves like, I hope they don't find out about the horse. <laughs> but we have to give Vanessa credit. She was our first black Miss America, and you can't take that from her. But, uh, and I'm glad we had a, a Miss America named Vanessa, because I was tired of people named Becky Sue. <laughs> I like Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost like having a president named Darnell. <laughs> or Jesse. <laughs> that, that bothers you a little bit, don't it? <laughs> you know, Jesse Jackson, the only thing that bothers me is that the news media mispronounces his title. They always want to call him Reverend. And that's not right. It's Reverend. <laughs> and he has a church and a choir. See, that's why he didn't win. Nobody knew what he was talking about. <laughs> well, get back to Vanessa. The only thing that bothers me about Vanessa Williams is that she's skinny. She wears a size four. That's disgusting. <laughs> I don't like skinny people. Skinny people tick me off. <laughs> you know, especially when they say things like, you know, sometimes I just forget to eat. <laughs> How do you do that? I have forgotten my address, <laughs> my mother's maiden name, my keys, my money. I have never forgotten to eat. <laughs> And never do laundry with skinny women. This will really get on your nerves because they like to take their little Barbie underwear <laughs> out of the dryer and fold it like this. <laughs> I'm standing there going. <laughs> well, just grab that in 
and walk toward me. you should lose weight, so you try just about anything. You try stuff like jogging. <laughs> Why do people jog? Where are they going? <laughs> I mean, it's 6.30 in the morning. You're going 10, 12 miles, take a car. <laughs> and bring me a donut. I watch a lot of television. They got these commercials now that really get on my nerves. I have to tell you about them. These, uh, these women's commercials. Like the one where the woman comes out and looks directly at the camera and says, when you're pregnant, you want to be the first to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just hate it when the lady down the hall has to come and tell me. That really ticks me off. <laughs> but the one that really bothers me is this one. Hi, I'm Kathy Rigby, and I don't usually talk about feminine hygiene. <laughs> you do every time I see you, witch. I must have missed your speech on Lebanon. Thanks a lot. Marsh Warfield. Great, Marshall. Thank you, Marshall. Really super.